Harry Potter started out as a small spark in the imagination of John Rowling and has grown into an empire. Hogwarts is a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Young witches and wizards are invited to the school by special request, and when they arrive, they are ushered into the main hall for the welcoming ceremony. Students immediately see this great room decorated in banners and flags that represent the four houses – Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin and Hufflepuff. These banners are colorful and festive as they sport each house's traditional colors. Gryffindor – a symbolism Red mean courage, love, courage and bloodshed in honest struggle. Gold symbolizes wealth and power, nobility and Christian virtues. Faith, justice, humility and mercy. In heraldry classics, the hatching in the form of diamonds is a purple backed color. Purper is also symbolic in itself. It is temperance, piety supreme domination and generosity. As for the main figure of crest of the faculty, the lion as king of the beasts is the most common heraldic figure. Gryffindor's coat of arms shows a classic heraldic lion standing on its hind legs in profile. The lion is associated with intelligence, valor, nobility, generosity, justice, vigilance, pride, courage, triumph, arrogance. On the top placed the helmet. It is used as protection and strength, as well as three magical symbols used in the secret scriptures. The crest belonged to Godric Gryffindor, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Since the foundation of the faculty, the coat of arms has become not only the crest of the founder, but also the crest of all students of the faculty. The etymology of the founder of the faculty is also very important. Godric Gryffindor, meaning power of God and gold. In other words, the name of the wizard of the Hogwarts 4 is symbolically embedded in the crest. The design and location of the Gryffindor's house coincides with the explanation of the banner. The entrance to the Gryffindor common room was located behind a large portrait of the fat lady in a pink silk dress. If one knows the right password to tell her, she is one open to reveal a round opening in the wall. The common room contained a lot of squashy armchair, a fireplace and tables. The fireplace was connected to the flue network, but as it was extremely public except in the dead of night, Gryffindors usually used owls to communicate with their families instead. There was also a notice board for public announcements such as the date of the next Hogsmeade weekend trip, but also for notices from individual students seeking to buy or sell second-hand books or trade chocolate frog cards or similar as in any school. The common room was very comfortable and members of the Gryffindor house met there for study groups, celebrations or relaxation. The walls were lined with portraits, each one depicting a previous or current head of Gryffindor. Hufflepuff House The coat of arms of Hufflepuff resembles the English heraldic square shield with a sharp base the shield is divided into four parts. The upper right and lower left corners of the shield are painted with gold, and the upper left and lower right corners are black. The shield is surrounded by a floral ornament, and on the top is a helmet with a fabric bullet. A crest is a four-legged badger that looks forward. In the center of the shield is also a heraldic figure of a badger. It is worth noting that the badger was rarely used as a motif for the European coat of arms and is not a classic heraldic animal. The history of the crest 
is different. According to one, when it was time to choose the crest of her house at Hogwarts, Helga Hufflepuff remembered her healed badger, who was one of the first animals she could help with her healing skills. It was chosen as a heraldic animal, but it is also possible that the symbolic meaning of the badger influenced the choice of this animal. Gold as a heraldic metal symbolizes faith, justice, mercy and humility. It is believed that these features are the main features of the faculty's mistress, Helga. Black is another of the heraldic metals used in a given crest, means caution, wisdom and perseverance in trials. Hufflepuff students are honored to come out of all challenges, be it an exam or a battle with the Death Eaters. Much more interesting Badger is a heraldic figure. It is known that the image of Badger is often associated with hard work, perseverance and persistence. Indeed, the head emphasizes these traits. In addition, it is repeatedly suggested that not a single dark wizard has graduated from Hufflepuff. In addition, the badger is associated with the forces of the earth, with its energy, the energy of life. And it was the dean of Hufflepuff, Pomona Sprout, who was the professor of herbology, who knew the secrets of the earth, and Helga herself knew herbs and healed people and animals, and the magic of the earth lived in her. The crest belonged to Helga Hufflepuff, one of four founders. Since the foundation of the faculty, the coat of arms has become not only the crest of the founder, but also the crest of all students of this house. The design and location of the house has the same explanation as the crest. The Hufflepuff dormitories and common room were never been seen by outsiders and was the only house with repelling devices in case of intruders. They were accessed through a pile of large barrels found stacked in a shadowy stone recess on the right hand side corridor near the kitchens. As a security device to repel non-Hufflepuff students tapping on the wrong barrel or tapping the incorrect number of times resulted in one of the other leads bursting off, drenching the imposter in vinegar. However, once one made it through the tunnel entryway, the Hufflepuff dormitory was a quite cozy and welcoming place. It always felt sunny. The common room was a large, earthy round room with low ceilings. The view from the round, the view from the round windows was a dandelions and rippling grass. The decor emphasizes the earthy feel of the room with the plants hanging and resting all about the room, some that even sunk and danced, burnished copper touchings with plush, cozy yellow and black patterned sofas and chairs welcomed Hufflepuff students to relax and discuss the interesting specimens brought in by the head of house Professor Sprout. Ravenclaw House The history of Crest is not reflected in the books, however, it can be assumed that the choice is related firstly to the name of the founder, and secondly, the element of Rowena Ravenclaw was air. This defined the basic heraldic colors and metal. Moreover, the Crest is a reflection of all those qualities that the wizard valued in people. The first type of crest is very simple in its symbolic meaning. The silver metal that covers the main part of the shield symbolizes nobility, frankness, innocence, purity of thoughts and deeds. 
The crow in heraldry symbolizes longevity. In other symbolic systems, however, crows are a symbol of wisdom and wisdom accumulated by centuries. Only ravens are able to travel between the world of the living and the world of the dead. They are the companions of the gods, remember the ravens of Odin. Perhaps these arguments have played in favor of the choice of these motifs for the crest. True knowledge, wisdom multiplied by the purity of thoughts and deeds, because the wise man will not incline to meanness and evil. The second version of the crest in symbolic interpretation is more complicated. One wood which appears on this shield symbolizes courage. Blue, second color, a symbol of the sky as well as generosity and honesty. These qualities are inherent in the students of the faculty, also they are not sung about in the song distributing head, but true honesty and fidelity need no advertising. Heraldic figure eagle, a symbol of courage but also wisdom. Often it is the eagle that becomes the symbol of the imperial families as it combines the wisdom of the ruler and the strength needed by the king. Wisdom and perseverance are the main features of the faculty. But if you recall, it was Ravenclaw who showed himself from completely different sides. Perhaps this demonstrates the coat of arms. Do not judge the book by the cover. Do not think that wise people are not interested in anything but learning. The Ravenclaw common room was in one of the castle's towers and was wide and circular. One had to climb a tight spiral staircase to get there. It had graceful, arched windows and the walls were hung with blue and bronze silks. The domed sailing was painted with the night sky, which was echoed in the midnight blue carpet. Tables, chairs and bookcases covered the expanse of the floor, and a white marble statue of Rowena Ravenclaw sat next to the door that led to the dormitories above. Unlike the other common room in the school, a logical riddle given by a bronze eagle-shaped knocker must be answered to enter. This could prove troublesome as anyone with enough intellect could intrude into the dormitory. On the other hand, particularly poorly phrased riddle might bemuse a particular student, blocking them from entering and forcing them to sleep outside. Slytherin House The choice of heraldic animal Salazar Slytherin is clear. The founder of the faculty, Slytherin, had a rare gift of serpent. He could speak and understand the snake language, parcel tongue. This art gave the mage the opportunity to use the snake as its symbol. The symbolic meaning of Slytherin's crest is rather ambiguous in interpretation. Green as the main metal of the shield symbolizes hope, abundance, freedom and joy. Most likely this metal was taken in the meaning of abundance. After all, most students of this faculty come from noble and wealthy families who have many opportunities. The snake as the main heraldic figure is also not typical for traditional heraldry. The snake is a very ambiguous symbol. First, it is a cold-blooded animal. It symbolizes the ability to save face, hide your emotions, control them. It's hard to argue with that, remembering how many years Professor Snape been able to sidestep the suspicious Dark Lord by leading the life of a double spy. Second, the snake is a symbol of cunning, the ability to get out of any situation. Snakes are slippery and thin. Third, do not forget about another quality of the snake – wisdom. It is the snake associated with wisdom. No one will argue that the students of Slytherin are wise in their own way. They are able to analyze the situation, prefer to bypass open conflicts 
save face and fourthly snakes do not attack first only if they hit or under attack snake is often considered a symbol of the dark side the afterlife serpents have been credited with a dark nature which is probably why in the book this faculty plays the role of a boat of evil in addition the underworld dangerous is also a very successful allusion to the mythological roots of the snake as a symbol the snake element is water it is believed that water magic obeys the serpent essence the Slytherin common room was in the dungeons of Hogwarts castle and underneath the Black Lake. Because of this the light in the common room was green. To enter the Slytherin common room one must merely speak aloud the current password in front of a dumb stone wall. Once the word was uttered a concealed stone door would slide aside leaving a rectangular hole in the wall leading to the Slytherin common room. Each house represents one of the four classical elements – fire is Gryffindor, earth Hufflepuff, Air Ravenclaw and Water Slytherin. Each of these also represents one of the four states of matter. Plasma – it's Fire and Gryffindor. Gas – it's Air Ravenclaw. Liquid – it's Water Slytherin. And Solid – Earth Hufflepuff.